everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher friendly recipe video and this one is all about fluffs. I'm going to be showing you three different fluffs in this video and all of them are recipes that I love that I am lightening up to make them a little more Weight Watcher friendly, lower calorie, all of that good stuff. I do have another vintage fluff video that I did a while back. I'll go ahead and link that up above and down below. I love the fluffs though. There's so many different varieties and different ways to make them. If you're not familiar with what a fluff is, it's basically just a dessert salad or kind of a side. I believe they were popular mainly in the 60s and 70s and they usually included some type of whipped topping, marshmallows, canned fruits, pudding, or jello. At least one or several of those ingredients will be in a fluff, but the other thing about them is they're very kind of minimal ingredients and very easy. So they're really good, really easy, and like I said, we're gonna make them a little bit lower in points and calories. So let me go ahead and get started and I will jump into the first one. This first one is just a very simple cranberry fluff. I like to make this one a lot of times during the holidays. It's great for Christmas. It's also nice for Valentine's Day because of the colors in it. So it makes a nice holiday one, but it also is great for just whenever you want to make it. I had some extra cranberries from Christmas actually in my freezer and so figured this would be a great use for those. So I'll go over the ingredients real quick. So first here I've got 12 ounces of previously frozen cranberries that I just let defrost. I washed them, picked through them. You could also use fresh, but the frozen work great in this. Next up, I've got a can of crushed pineapple and 100% pineapple juice. You're gonna need this whole can. It is 20 ounces and you're gonna drain this though. Here I've got some chopped almonds. I'm gonna be using a half cup of these and I'm gonna chop them a little more than what they are in here, but you could also use walnuts. Here is an eight ounce container of fat-free whipped topping. I'm just using the Signature Select brand. I also like the Cool Whip when I can find it. Next up for sweetener in this, I'm gonna be using two third cup of this Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, just the classic. And then finally, I've got some mini marshmallows. I'm gonna be using a cup of these. That is everything that's in this, so let me get it started. First thing I'm gonna do is in my food processor, I'm gonna take my cranberries, I'm gonna pour those in. And then I'm gonna add in my two third cup Lakanto. And I'm gonna just pulse these in here until those cranberries are finely chopped and they're mixed together well with the Lakanto. I just pulsed that a few times. Here's how it's looking. Hopefully that's picking up. They're not super small pieces, but they are nice and diced up. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in a bowl. So I've got myself just a medium sized bowl here. I'm gonna pour my cranberry mixture in. So here's maybe a little better look at what the uh, consistency of those cranberries are. I think I initially said fine. That's not super fine. Some of it is, but there's still little bits of uh, cranberry chunk in there. And this is kind of preference. If you want super fine, you can. If you want more chunky, you can, but this is kind of how I like it, like that. So now this needs to sit in the fridge covered for at least four hours. You could also do overnight if you want, but you just wanna give those cranberries a chance to kind of sit in that sweetener and they're gonna soften a little bit and they're also going to absorb the sweetness. So I'm gonna do that and then I will be back. It has been just over four hours and here's how my cranberries are looking. So now I'm gonna move on to the next step which is basically just dumping the rest of the ingredients in and folding them in. But first I've got to get my pecans here that I've measured out and this is again a half cup. I'm gonna go ahead, put them in my little nut chopper here and chop these up. I was gonna just do a rough cut or rough chop with them with a knife, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them in my nut chopper and chop those up in here. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I will be back. I've got those all ground up into pretty small pieces that grinder does. And again, you don't have to do them this small if you don't want, but that makes quick work of it to throw those in there. So now, got my marshmallows measured out over here too. 
and my whipped topping out. So now I'm gonna just dump my remaining ingredients in, starting with my pineapple that I have drained. You wanna drain this really well because you don't want all that extra liquid in there making this a soupy mess. Got it pretty well drained. Pour in my nuts, and actually I'm gonna reserve just a little bit of these to garnish with. My cup of marshmallows, and I'm gonna just mix all of that together. All right, now I'm gonna take my whipped topping and add that in, and fold that in. Got this all mixed together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover it back up with some plastic wrap and put it back in my fridge for at least two to four hours again. You want all this to kind of, all the flavors to melt together and you want those marshmallows to soften up nicely. So again, two to four hours at least, but I'll probably just go ahead and let this sit overnight. That's typically what I do when I do these fluffs. So I will be back in the morning to show you the rest. It's the next morning. I've got this back out of the fridge and I'm gonna go ahead and give it have a stir to get any of that liquid, which there is some, kind of stirred in. Some of that fruit released a little more liquid over the night. So I'm gonna just get it all mixed in nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up my bowl and I'll show you how I garnish this one. I've got my bowl cleaned off there a little bit. So now I'm just gonna take a few additional fresh cranberries and just put them on the top. Just make this look a little prettier. And then I'm gonna sprinkle my remaining pecans on the top. And then that is all there is to this one. I absolutely love this one. It's probably my favorite of the three that I'm gonna be showing you. And that's mainly just because I love cranberries so much. They're definitely one of my favorite fruits. I love how the tartness of them pairs so well with the sweetness of the rest of the fluff. It's just a really nice tart sweet combination. And the pecans add a little extra something too. A little bit of crunch and flavor. And this one is just absolutely delicious. Now the points on this, so for a half cup of this, it is gonna be three points. So these just have a really nice fluffy texture, hence the name. You can see, it's really, really good. Love this one. Now with all of these, I would say though, um, they well, the fruit in them will continue to release juice and they will get a little waterlogged after a couple days. So you do want to kind of eat them up fairly quickly in two or three days, I would say. And that's just for the best results because again, they will get a little more liquidy with that extra juice. But, but that's how this one is looking right now. All right, on to the next one. So next up, I'm going to be doing mandarin orange fluff. Now this is one that uses cottage cheese. And so a lot of people, when they see that, that kind of grosses them out, which I kind of understand because it doesn't sound good, but I promise you it is very good. I've even had people that don't like cottage cheese like this fluffs. That being said, you can also blend the cottage cheese in this if it's a texture thing for you with cottage cheese. And I love cottage cheese anyway, so it's not an issue for me, but just the flavors in this, like I said, are really good and make this one of my favorites. So what you're gonna need for this one is, first off, some mandarin oranges. I've got some no sugar added cups here, 16 ounces total, and that's what I'm gonna be using. You could also get a can of these, which I believe come in 20 ounces with no sugar added or canned in their juice. Um, I couldn't find those, so we're going with the little cups here. But again, I've got 16 ounces. You want anywhere from 16 to 20. Next up, I've got a can of crushed pineapple and 100% pineapple juice. 20 ounce, and you're gonna want to drain this really well. Here I've got two cups of mini marshmallows, a eight ounce container of fat-free whipped topping, some orange gelatin. I'm using the Winco brand this time. I believe my recipe builder has the Jello brand in it. And really the only difference with the two is this is 0.88 ounce. 
The Jello is 0.6, but they make the same amount of servings. They both make eight half cup servings. So what you're looking for basically is a sugar-free gelatin that makes eight one half cup servings. And then finally, the cottage cheese. I'm using low fat in this. You could use fat free, you could use 2%, and obviously you're gonna wanna adjust for points on either one of those, up or down. But I'm gonna be using 16 ounces of this 1% cottage cheese, and it is a small curd, which I would recommend for this. Uh, but I'm using 16 ounces or two cups of cottage cheese, and that is everything that is in this, so let me get it started. The very first thing I'm gonna do is get my fruit drained of as much of that liquid as possible. And I'm gonna just use this little strainer to pour these in, and then my pineapple in too, because again, you wanna get as much of the, the juice off of these, because otherwise it's gonna really water down your salad. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'll just set those aside in a bowl, and then we'll work on the next step. Next up in a medium sized bowl, I'm gonna add in my two cups cottage cheese. And my packet of Jello. And I'm gonna just mix these together. And I'm gonna just mix this until I get that gelatin melted in here nicely and just well incorporated. So I will be back at that point. I've got that mixed in there really well. And again, if you don't like the texture of cottage cheese, you could definitely just blend the two of those ingredients together. And then you're gonna have a nice smooth consistency. So next up, now that I've got that together, I'm gonna add in my drained fruit, starting with my mandarin oranges, although I'm gonna reserve some of these to garnish with. So I'll just pick a few of them out to garnish the top with, and then I'll add the rest in, along with my drained pineapple and my marshmallows. And then I'm gonna just stir all of that together. And then finally, I'm gonna add in my whipped topping and fold that in. Okay, I've got that all folded together, and as you can probably tell by my bowl, it's a little bit full in there. This fluff is one of the bigger ones, and I probably should use a little bit bigger bowl, but it'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the bowl, and then I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over this, put it in my fridge for a good four hours. I usually do the fluffs overnight just to ensure the best taste, um, but you wanna do at least four hours, and that just gives all these ingredients a chance to kind of marry together, uh, absorb the flavors, especially the marshmallows, gives them a chance to soften up and absorb the flavors, all the juices and all that good stuff. So four hours to overnight before you wanna eat this, but I will be back once this is sat long enough in the fridge and I will finish it up. I let this sit for four hours. Like I said, I typically let these sit overnight for best results, but four hours is a, is a good bit of time too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and garnish this with my remaining oranges that I pulled out. And that is the finished product. So I'll go ahead and show you the consistency of this one. Just like all of them, it's nice and fluffy and light, creamy, just really, really good. And I love the flavors in this one. They're nice and bright. They're kind of, to me, more of summer or spring flavors, but really anytime you wanna have this, I think is a good time. It's just really, really flavorful. I love this one. Now the points on this, it's a little bit more than a half cup serving. So I'd say like a rounded half cup serving and the points are going to be three. But anyway, I love this one. I really like the cottage cheese in it. But as I've said before, I've had people that didn't like cottage cheese that like this. So definitely worth a try, even if you're not the biggest fan of cottage cheese. But anyway, that was Manor Orange Fluff. I will move on to my last and final fluff for this video. So my final fluff in this video is gonna be for what I'm just calling a lime fluff. This one is very simple, just like the others. Similar ingredients. One of the main differences in this one though is it does have cream cheese in it, which I absolutely love. It gives it a nice 
little extra richness. So I love this one. Let me jump into ingredients and I'll show you what you're gonna need to make it. First up, I've got some zero sugar Sprite here. I'm gonna be using half cup of this. Now you can use whatever type of zero sugar soda you want, lemon lime soda you want, I should say. Seven up, a generic, whatever. I've got Sprites today, so that's what I'm gonna be using in it. But I have used other, other sodas in it. Like I said, seven up is one that I've used quite frequently. Next up, I've got a box of lime sugar-free jello. This is 0.88 ounce which is comparable to the Jell-O brand 0.6 because they both make eight servings. And that's what you're looking for for this. You're looking for the larger pack that makes eight half cup servings. Next up, you're gonna need 20 ounces of pineapple tidbits. I've got an eight ounce can here, and then I've got an additional three, four ounce containers here. This is packed in juice, and these, are packed and water sweetened with stevia. So zero points for both of these if you drain them, which is what I'm gonna be doing. Next up, I've got six tablespoons of softened light cream cheese. I've just let this sit out and come to room temperature so it is nice and soft, which is what you want for this. And then here I've got a cup of mini marshmallows, eight ounces of a fat-free whipped topping, and then finally a quarter cup chopped pecans. And that measurement is a quarter cup before chopped. So that is everything that is in this. Let me get it started. First thing I'm gonna do is get my pineapple drained. You want all of this really well drained so that it doesn't make your salad watery, soggy. So I'm gonna get this all drained and then I'll move on to the next step. Next up in a medium sized bowl here, I'm gonna add in my jello packet. and my half cup Sprite. Give that a quick whisk. Now I'm gonna add in my softened cream cheese. And I'm gonna whisk or mix this in. And you can definitely do this in a mixer. It's easier or use a hand mixer. I'm gonna try to get it to go with just my whisk today so I don't have to get out my mixer. But I'm gonna whisk this all together and then I will be back. I've got this pretty well smoothed doing this by hand. Like I said, it works better with a mixer or a hand mixer, but that worked pretty well. So now I'm gonna take my whipped topping and I'm gonna add that in along with my drained pineapple, marshmallows, and most of my pecans. I'm gonna reserve a little bit to garnish the top with. Just a very little. And then I'm gonna fold all of that together. Okay, I've got this all folded in. So now I'm gonna go ahead, top it with some plastic wrap and put it in my fridge for at least four hours or overnight, just like the other two. So I will be back once this has sat for at least four hours. It is the next day. I let this sit overnight, so about 12 hours. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of fluff this back up. And I'm gonna garnish it with my remaining pecans that I had set aside. And I'm gonna add just a few marshmallows to the top. And then that is all there is to this one. So the points on this, this is a little bit smaller than the other two. So I've got it factored in at 10 one half cup servings. And that is gonna be four points. This is the highest point-wise of the three, and that's mainly because of the cream cheese that's in it, but I definitely think it's worth it because I love the cream cheese in this. It just adds a really nice, rich flavor to it. This one, like the Mandarin Orange one, kind of gives me more of a spring summer vibe with the lime in there, but it's also one that I think, again, you could have any time of the year. I love these fluffs whenever, it doesn't really matter what the flavor is or what version it is. They're all good all the time. This one just has really nice, light, fluffy texture, consistency, just like the other ones. And again, like the other ones though, you do want to eat this up in about probably three days or so, just to prevent it from getting kind of waterlogged or 
uh, a little bit soggy from the juices in that fruit. But anyway, guys, this was my final fluff. I will be sure to link my other video where I show three of my favorites. And then I think I have one or two single videos where I did fluffs. I'll go through and find the ones that I've done previously and have those linked up above and down below if you want to check out some other ones. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.